All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys may know, earlier today, we got some additional top grossing stones on global, which is pretty awesome, even though it wasn't a ton of stones. And honestly, I kind of feel like I got baited by Bandai, man, because when I first saw the notice, it said first place achieved, come get 63 dragon stones. And I was like, whoa, we're getting 63 more stones on top of the 56? We got last time, that's insane, that's amazing, and I got super, super excited. But then, I read a little bit further, and as it turns out, it's not 63 additional stones, it's not 63 new stones, it's just 63 stones in total, including the 56 from last time. So we really only got 7 new free stones this time around, which honestly was... A little bit disappointing. I mean, I'm not like that upset about it overall because more free stones is always better than no free stones, so I'll take it. But at the same time, I feel like they could have done a much, much better job at communicating this to their player base. You know, like they could have made a separate notice that said, you know, first place achieved again or first place achieved part two come get seven dragon stones and that would have been fine you know that would have been super clear nobody would have been disappointed or let down like i was but uh, you know it is what it is it's still more free stones like i said i'll still take it but the messaging could have been done much much better anyways um since this came out i got a few dms from people on discord twitter and so on and so forth asking me whether or not they can still expect any more top grossing stones for part one of this celebration because obviously uh, some people were expecting more stones in total and a bunch of people still need to summon on the boo banner and the Vegito banner to get their first copies of one or both of them and uh, the answer to that question is kind of kind of it's not no but we can't we, we probably won't be getting any more top grossing stones because the banners have been out for so long now that it's very unlikely we'll hit top grossing again for any new regions, right? So I feel like top grossing stones are not a possibility anymore, but we will most likely still get some more free stones for this dual Dokkan Fest in the form of a dual Dokkan Festival rewarding bonus, which is something that we've received for pretty much every Dual Dokkan Fest for at least the last, I want to say, two years, maybe even longer. And some examples would be going back about a year and a half ago, we had the Dual Dokkan Fest between the AGL Gogeta and Fizz Broly, right? And for the first top grossing reward, it was 100 stones and some orbs. But then a little while later, we also got a thank you for the passionate support Dual Dokkan Festival rewarding bonus, which gave 50 more stones as well as a bunch of orbs, right? So that's, so that's one example right there. And then we can move on to the 300 million download celebration last year. The first top grossing reward was 50 stones. The second one was 50 more stones. And after that, we got a thank you for the passionate support, which essentially means thank you for all your money. A uh, Dual Token Festival rewarding bonus, which was 30 stones plus some orbs. And there was also the Trunks and Zamasu Dual Dolgon Fest for the Thank You Celebration, which gave 50 stones for the first top grossing, or just top grossing. And then a little while later, they gave a Dual Dolgon Festival rewarding bonus, which gave 20 Dragon Stones. And the most recent example of this was the 5 year anniversary with the Blue Fusions. So the first top grossing was 30 stones. And then, oh, my bad. No, the first top grossing was 100 stones. And then we got the rewarding bonus, which gave 30 stones. All right, so basically there is a trend here that you might have noticed where every single Dual Dokkan Fest starts off with at least one, possibly two initial top grossing rewards. And then near the end of the Dual Dokkan Fest, um, they give out an additional uh, thank you reward or rewarding bonus so basically by all means we should be expecting a rewarding bonus for the Vegito and Buhan banners uh, as well before I, I think it's actually before the discount period ends 
but I could be wrong about that because I don't remember exactly when we got the rewarding bonuses for the other Dual Dokkan Fest. Um, so yeah, I can't say, say for sure, but what I can say is that we will most likely, most likely be getting that rewarding bonus for this Dual Dokkan Fest as well. And uh, you can expect between, you know, 20 to 50 stones. I mean, let's just say, go with the low end, right? Expect like 20 stones, so you can't be disappointed. And if we end up getting more, like 30 or 40 or 50, then we'll be, you know, we'll be surprised, which is always a good thing, right? That's, that's how I approach all things in this game. When it comes to summons or rewards or new events, anything like that, always have low expectations so that you can never be too disappointed. Even sometimes when you have low expectations, you can still be disappointed, but it won't hurt as much. You know what I mean? So <laughs> there you go, guys. That is your update for today. Uh, seven stones for this second top roasting distribution, which is, is quite low in my opinion, but I guess they're just going with the seven stones per region. And since we got only one new region, which was the, uh, I believe US, yeah, the United States hit top grossing in the Google Play Store, right? So it's only one additional top grossing region. So that's why we only got seven stones as opposed to like 50 or something like that. And uh, once again, I don't expect any more top grossing rewards, even though it's a possibility, I guess. But I do definitely expect the rewarding bonus. And uh, once again, you know, like every other Dual Dokkan Fest we've received in like the last two years has had a rewarding bonus, so it'd be very shocking if uh, Bandai doesn't give us one for this Dual Dokkan Fest as well. I mean, do keep in mind that Bandai has gone against tradition before, gone against convention before, so there's always a chance that they also like change things up this time and don't give it to us, but by all means, we should be getting it, right? As long as they stick to tradition, as long as they follow the trend for the past couple of Dual Dokkan Fest, there will be a rewarding bonus, there will be 20 to 50 more free stones up for grabs, and then for part 2, there's obviously going to be a new LR, there's obviously going to be a new banner, so we should be getting more free stones, uh, more top grossing stones for that banner as well, but as far as part 1 is concerned, there are still going to be, most likely, some more free stones on the way. Okay, so there you go guys, that is today's video, uh, hopefully that answers some of your questions, and uh, look forward to this rewarding bonus whenever Bandai decides to give it to us, okay? But uh, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing up what yo do you guys hear that it's actually quite loud it's it's my answering machine and i keep getting these spam calls from these like random chinese companies with like I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like BS like delivery notices or saying things like, oh, you know, the CRA is after you, which is the like Canada Revenue Agency uh, because of like tax fraud or something like that. You're going to get arrested. Let me know if you guys get that too, because I've been getting that pretty often. And it's super annoying. I, I need to get rid of that the answer machine right now. Like it's, it's 2020. We don't need a physical answering machine anymore. But anyways. <laughs> Super random tangent. Um, have an awesome day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>